Hi everyone, this is Sam Gabriel and in today's video I want to share with you a new feature that HashiCorp came out with uh, and this is called Cloud Agents for Terraform Cloud and the way this uh, works is basically allows you to use Terraform Cloud which is a SaaS offering of Terraform Enterprise to provision uh, resources on-prem and uh, you don't have to open your firewalls to do that an agent runs on-prem and it communicates with Terraform Cloud to allow you to provision on-prem. So let's take a look at a demo in just a few minutes. Okay, so before the demo, let's uh, take a look at this uh, diagram to kind of uh, give you a picture of how everything works. So in the on-prem environment, in my case, I have a vSphere lab. Uh, I have a cloud agent running. This agent speaks to Terraform Cloud it basically polls for jobs, asking if there's any job ready. And um, then on my workstation, <clears throat> when I commit and push uh, my code into a GitHub repo, a, a run gets triggered inside of Terraform Cloud, and then Cloud Agent sees that request and starts to provision uh, resources inside of my on-prem environment, inside of vSphere. So from a networking perspective, you can see at the bottom here the uh, the table for communication. So all you need to do is open outbound communication from your environment on port uh, 443, TCP 443 for HTTPS. And you can see the different host names that are used and the purpose of each one of this uh, communication. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, get right into the demo. So first things first, let's take a look at my agent. And if you notice here, I have the agent running as a Docker container. You can run it uh, straight on a Linux server as a process, but in my case, I'm just using a Docker container. And what you need to specify um, in the Docker run command is the TFC agent token as an environment variable that uh, you can create from Terraform Cloud. And then you can give it a name as well, give the agent a name. Um, and that's it. This is the image that uh, that you'll need to pull. And you can see it starts to run and then it's waiting for the next job. It can see a job and so on. So <clears throat> let's uh, let's take a look at an example here where I will first show you what this looks like. So here's my home lab agent. Um, so under settings and agents in Terraform Cloud for business, uh, you have to have Terraform for, uh, Cloud for Business tier to be able to see this. You can see my agent is called Home Lab and it's sitting there idle waiting for the next job. All right, so let's give it a job. Uh, so I'm in my Visual Studio code here and you can see the files that I'm using. I have three files, three Terraform files, a main file, a variables file, an output file. And what I'm doing here is I'm using a Packer generated template um, I had a video, separate video talking about how to use Packer to generate VMware templates and how to use Terraform to deploy VMs in VMware, in vSphere. So do go, go back and take a look at that. And in that video, we talked about creating a Windows 2019 server image. Uh, in today's demo, we're going to create uh, VMs, Ubuntu 1804 VMs based on uh, Ubuntu uh, VMware templates that we created with Packer. And once again, shout out to Guillermo Musumichi. He had uh, some uh, configuration for Packer vSphere for Linux. You can see different flavors of, of Linux. Um, I worked a little bit more on the Ubuntu version of things and made a few different changes that work in my environment. <clears throat> uh, but back to our demo for today. So we're going to use the generated te templates. And um, I'm going to scroll really quickly here. You can take your own time looking at the file. But again, we're using 123.0, the vSphere provider. Good practice, always pin it to a version. Um, and uh, just using some data to pull data from my current uh, vSphere environment. And then uh, I have two resources. I'm actually building a uh, Kubernetes cluster. Um, it's actually a K3S, cl or, yeah, K3S cluster, which is a stripped down version of Kubernetes. It's a lot more lightweight. Uh, so I've been running it in uh, uh, Hetzner Cloud for about a year now, and now I wanna run it uh, locally in my own uh, VMware lab. 
So you can see there are two resources that I'm actually uh, creating, a master or a number of master nodes and also a, a number of worker nodes. And um, <clears throat> uh, you can see here how we're cloning the different templates. I have two te different templates, one for the master nodes and one for the worker nodes. And then the output file will give you the IPs for both the master and the worker. And uh, let's do this. Let's just make a change here so I can commit it. And then you can see how this will trigger a run in Terraform Cloud. So let's say test run for TFC agents. Let's commit that. Let's go ahead and push it. Okay, so that looks like it got pushed. Let's go over to our screen here. <clears throat> what I'll do, I want to show you what's going on here. You can see downloading Terraform configuration. So the agent is running right now. I'm showing you the logs here. <clears throat> you can see it got picked up. Um, the agent is busy it, as it's running right now. And if I go to my um, actual runs view in my workspace, you can see that it's planning. And over here, um, it's going into the cost estimation phase. But of course, um, you're not going to get any cost because this is for an on-prem deployment. You can see there's adding, it's adding one element here. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and apply this. All right, so it's applied. Let's go back here. This will start to get busy again while the agent starts to pick up the job. <clears throat> and you can see it's running now. We go back here, <clears throat> the apply is running, and it's going to create the virtual machine. It takes about two minutes, and it's only going to create the master. Now, I'm going to uh, pause the video because I don't want you to sit here wait for two minutes until it's done, and then uh, we can talk about what, uh, what showed up at the very end. Okay, so it looks like the apply finished. Let's open it up and see what happened. Yeah, it took just under two minutes. And uh, here you can get, you can see the IP address that, uh, that I got from my internal DHCP server. And if you go over to my vCenter view, you can see my test master one has been deployed. And um, it's grabbing a DHCP IP. Um, as you can see, I've already deployed um, this before I have a, a master and I have three worker nodes that are actually running at K3S. Maybe in a separate video I can share with you how, um, how to deploy that and how to install K3S. It's pretty simple and uh, we can go from there. But basically, um, hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can leverage Terraform Cloud for Business to deploy uh, and provision infrastructure in your on-prem environment using uh, cloud agents. So hopefully this has been a helpful video for me for you. And if you have any questions, please do put them in the comment section uh, with, along with this video. Thanks.